Welcome to MT Guitar. And uh, today we're going to be doing a request from a subscriber. Go ahead and subscribe now and uh, leave a comment if you like. We're going to be doing Peace of Mind by Boston. The request was to combine all the parts into one guitar so that you don't have to layer the tracks, which I love doing personally because uh, I don't want to rely on technology all the time to, to play a song and to play all the parts. It's a sort of an epic guitar song, so uh, we'll be I'll be able to cover everything except the solo today, and I can do the solo in a different video. It's difficult to play, so it's a little more on the intermediate advanced side, especially on an acoustic. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun to learn, so let's zoom on in. All right, so we surely have our work cut out for us, but like everything, we'll just take it one thing at a time and we'll get there. And uh, we won't do the solo today. But you can still play the whole song through. You can just play rhythm during the solo part. So for the intro, which is actually the chorus, um, C sharp minor. And then A. And then a quick little four mute. So, so the A is anticipated. So it's like C sharp, A, mute, mute. mute. Right? So a little slower. And then an E chord, and then a B chord, anticipated. And then we lift the third finger to do a little um, movement of that of that note there. So, okay. So after you do that, the second. If you do that the first time, the second time is all the same except we don't have time to do, to do this move on the B. So we go, and then that's ninth to eleventh fret slide, back to nine, seven, and then four with a vibrato. So if you're not used to vibrato on an acoustic, it's a little harder than an electric. And it's a good thing to be able to do. Okay, so da, 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 four. Okay, four, six, seven, four, six. Da, 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 seven, six, seven, six string. Next line is second fret on the fourth string. It's a fourth fret, slide the sixth, seventh fret, fourth fret. So now we have a nice little move here. A hammer on and pull off, slide down to two. Okay, and then the phrase repeats. Again. Except instead of going all the way down to there, we go just to the second fret. So the whole thing. That's the uh, intro lick. Now we go up to an E chord and we start it with an A over E, which is this. Here's this bar chord of E. So you're going to play it with your first fret only, first finger only, ninth fret, fourth, third, and second strings. So that's the bar position. But it starts with an A, a triad here, tenth fret, second string. 9th fret, 1st string, 11th fret, 4th uh, string. So that's... And then release to the E chord. And then hammer on 9 to 11 to... to. Okay. And then we do a slide from 10 and 11 to 12 and 13. Back down. 
So these are all great licks for, for rhythm parts that are not open chords. Okay, so that's all the intro. The verse is very similar to that. Now if you da -da -da -da. But that's the difference, so. Okay, and then nine to eleven hammer on. 9-11. That leads us to the D chord. Right here. D bar chord. A. Anticipation. And then that before the next phrase. Again, same thing. Okay, so then the B is anticipated instead of the E. But what we do is immediately do a boogie woogie. So that's seventh and ninth fret, sixth and fifth string, hammer on to eleventh. Uh, not hammer on, but but go to eleventh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's what the electric guitar is doing because we're kind of combining acoustic and electric parts here. It's almost a mess, but I think I think we're gonna be, be fine. Then the chorus happens. Same thing as the intro. The electric distorted guitar is doing less strumming, but I think since we're playing on an acoustic, we should follow the acoustic part, so. Okay, four times. Fourth time we go to an A chord. Okay? Then it goes back to the verse into the chorus. After the second chorus, we have this bridge. Take a look ahead. So that's a it's gonna be a bunch of power chords or five chords. Starting with B. All down strokes. One, two, three, four, five. So that's second fret, sixth string, third fret, and then move your first finger to fifth fret, an A power chord. Not, not with pinky, but just these two, two uh, strings here. And then fourth and sixth fret, and then second and fourth fret. that then back to the little interlude and that leads us into the solo the solo chords are D A E boogie woogie D A E D A E the fourth time D part I'll do I'll, I'll do that solo in a different video but the chords for that are the chorus right so that so that's all the chorus and then it basically the form kind of repeats some more and when the bridge happens the second time at the end of the bridge, it kind of does this thing where it, it repeats these three power chords. So that's A, or, or op open and second fret, fifth and fourth string, fourth and sixth fret, second and fourth fret. Then the ending kind of goes back into the, and then once in a while they do actually a slur there. Okay. But after that, they add another guitar part. But you honestly don't need that. 
uh, because you can just keep doing that on, on, on this octave. But they do add this part. I'm running out of time, so I'll just quickly play it here, zoomed in. It's just an octave up. And then they add a, th a, a guitar mini, as I call it, or a harmony on the guitar part. Right? And it's basically a third up. So um, if you had a, a big band of, of guitar players and stuff, you could, you could do that. But with one guitar, I really don't recommend messing with that. Just play the... If I can play it, right? So, um, we kind of moved through a lot of stuff very quickly, but those are all the parts of the song besides the solo, which I can do in a different video. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. Practice along with the record if you can. All right. All right. What a great song to work on so many different techniques, and it's a great reminder on all the things that we need to work on. So, um, go ahead and subscribe below. Leave a comment, a thumbs up, hit the notification bell. And uh, look for the daily content every day on your favorite songs and also how to understand the fretboard and, and theory and all that. So uh, have a great day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Take care. We'll see you next time.